Okay, this calculus lesson is on implicit differentiation. So implicit differentiation uh, uh, is used when a function cannot be solved for just plain old y, like if you have y cubed or if you have the product of x and y and stuff. So here's what you got to do, you guys. Uh, you, got, you take the derivative of all the terms with respect to x. So anything that doesn't have an x, like if it has a y, is always going to be tagged with a dy. Okay, so then you're going to separate all the terms with and without the dy dx. Okay, so for example, when I take the derivative of this, this would be 3y squared dy. Okay, whereas the derivative of this is just 6x. Okay, so everything that has just a y in it is going to have it when you take the derivative is going to have a chain, a dy attached to it. Okay, and then you factor out your dy dx and then uh, you divide to finish. Okay. So technically, you guys, everything has a chain when you take the derivative. So if u equaled x, then du would just be 1, okay? And then multiply both sides by, by dx, you get uh, uh, du equals 1 dx. So, so the x's all have a chain also, you guys. It's dx, you guys. But when you're doing it with respect to dx, then you don't need it. So um, uh, if you see anything with a y, it's just going to have a chain with dy attached to it, okay? All right, so let's an example explain right here. Let's go ahead and do this guy right here, okay? So I'm going to take the derivative of this, and when I take the derivative of this, i got to do my product rule, which is f prime g plus f g prime, okay? So you'll see that happening right there. And the derivative of this is 6x. The derivative of this is 3y squared dy. Okay, and then I got another dy happening from the f prime g, g prime f. Here's f prime g plus f g prime, okay? All right, so the derivative of 2x is 2. Uh, the derivative of y is just dy or 1 dy, okay? And then so I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative through, uh, and I get um, uh, negative 2y minus 2x dy. The dy came from that right there. Okay, so now I'm going to separate the terms uh, uh, with the, uh, so I've done this step, step one right here. Now I'm going to separate the terms with the dy attached to them. I'll put everything else on the other side of the equal sign. Oh yeah, and the derivative of a constant zero. Okay, so that's where the zero came from. All right, so uh, this doesn't have a dy, so it went on to this side over here, and then this doesn't have a dy, so it went on this side. So I got a positive two y minus six x. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm going to factor out my dy. So I'm going to pull the dy out here and dy out here with me? Yeah, I say yes. Okay, and then now uh, I'm going to divide and finish. So there it is right there. Okay, so um, they're just implicit differentiation. Uh, looks messy like this all the time, you guys. Okay, let's try another one. All right, so I'm going to do a couple of chain rules. I'm going to do I'm going to do a u substitution for u equals 5x and another one for u equals 5y. And remember, I'm going to have a dy attached to anything with a y. Okay, so here it is. I separated them up. So I'm just doing a u substitution for this guy right here, and then a u substitution for this guy right here. Okay, so when I do uh, u right there, I get y equals the cosine of u. So I go dy du times du dx, and so here's du dx is 5 right there. So um, when I take the derivative of cosine, it's negative sine. So there's that right there. Okay, don't forget, same thing over here. This is the same thing, except there's a negative 3 attached, and I'm going to have a dy attached at the end. So I get negative 15 cosine, y, cosine 5y dy. Okay, so all of that goes up in here. So this goes right here. This guy goes right here. And then, and then the derivative of 1 is 0 again. Okay, so I get that. Now I've got to separate the terms with and without. So I'm just going to plus this side over here because it has the dy right there. All right, so I get that, and then I'm going to divide both sides by the 15 cosine of 5y, and then go ahead and reduce that negative 5 and 15 reduces to negative 1 and 3. All right, so there's a, there's a derivative right there, the dy, okay? Let's see. All right, here's one here. This one's kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, differentiate. Uh, so I get 2x plus, okay, and this 1 half comes down, and it becomes y to the negative 1 half. And don't forget, if anything with the y has a dy, the derivative of that equals 0. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and solve for dy. And uh, let's see, uh, what I did was is I threw this on the other side. I subtracted right there, and there's my dy. And this negative uh, exponent went downstairs, became a positive exponent. So this is y to the 1 half right here. What well, square root of y is y to the 1 half. And there's that 2 right there. You guys with me? Okay, now I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 root y, except it's going to be a negative 2 root y, so I can solve for this dy. Okay, so I get... Uh, 
uh, dy equals negative 4x root y. Okay, look, here's a different way to do this, you guys. If you notice, uh, if I subtract x squared from both sides, I get this. And if I solve for y, you guys, I get this right here. If I multiply, I'm sorry, if I squared both sides, it gets me this right here. And then if I FOIL that out, it gets me that right there. Okay, so when I take the derivative of that, I get that right there. Now, how does this match up with this? Well, let me show you, you guys. There's dy. dy is the same as y prime right there. I'm going to pull out a 4x out of both those guys. And when I pull a 4x out of both those guys, look, there's 10 minus x squared. There's 10 minus x squared. 10 minus x squared equals y to the 1 half. Okay? And y to the 1 half is the same as the square root of y. So they're both virtually the same answers right there. All right, so that's it on this lesson. And if you're in my calculus class, I would assign that is your homework. Take care.